Hey, Mark Shepard here, and this is Crypto Cranking, Crypto Cranker's Guide to the Galaxy of Greed. And uh, I'm in day 23, I think, of my challenge. Um, and uh, week four, <laughs> Bitcoin made new highs. Now it's backed off the highs, and it's... I'm waiting for my computer to reboot so I can do the morning cryptos. And these thoughts are coming through my head that what if everything is a Ponzi scheme? Everything. Just, it differs on size, right? What if everything is a tulip mania? Right? I've been thinking about that. The stock market. It's just they're so, it's so huge. It's a worldwide Ponzi scheme. It's, you know, it's value. What is value? What do we think is valuable? And what are we trying to get out of it, right? And it's a vehicle. It's an idea. When you buy stock in a company that you give them money, they give you a piece of the action, right? They take your money and use it to grow the company with and then they give you a return. And usually it's, you know, like in the case of Genesis Mining, it, it takes, let's say, three to 10 months to get to your ROI, right? Too slow, <laughs> right? The average person, the average new person coming into the market, we've gotten a little taste of buying Bitcoin at 900 or 1,000 or 1,500 or 2,000 or wherever you came into the market and then it goes up to 4,000 and all of a sudden it's worth more. All of a sudden we're smart. All of a sudden uh, we knew what we were doing. All of, you know, all of these psychological triggers come into play that cause us to want that again. Right. So when we when we when I first hear about these crypto cranking things that most people call scams, they really are scams. For example, BitLake. No. Yeah. BitLake. Poof, gone. Uh, Bit Island. Gone. Right. Trady. Poof. Gone. Uh, Ambus. Microhash. Poof. Poof. Gone. And I'm, I was just thinking about this guy, Ryan Burkness and um you know, and he's done a wonderful job of kind of telling people about these things. And all of these programs pay affiliate commissions, right? So they have the human psychology down, people. Right now, Bitcoin XL, question. I put some money in last week. Haven't been able to make a single withdrawal. All right. So, but think about, let's say, any of these programs as a bank. We give our money to the bank. They keep 10% of our deposit and they they loan the rest out. It's called fractional fractionalized lending, right? Something like that. It's very early in the morning. I have not yet had my coffee waiting for my computer to reboot. What if the banks are the same deal? What if the US government is the same deal? The British government, every government that issues money that has a central bank. What if it's all a big house of cards? And that's the question that keeps coming up for me is like, I'm kind of watching Ryan Birkinus go, okay, here's a new one. And then we all run in, right? How is that different from the rest of the economy, right? It's just a micro version of it, right? And the people who have the money the people who own the banks, they don't care about us. That's the thing to remember. They may have customer service, but we are literally like cattle to them. Think about that. Just think about that, right? And the question is, are we going to just stay in the herd or are we going to 
look for some fresh grass someplace else. But when we're out looking for the fresh, fresh grass someplace else, there are wolves. <laughs> there are wolves, right? There are mountain lions. There are wolves. There are bears. There, there are creatures out there who are hungry for us, <laughs> right? We are food for them, right? Think about that. We are prey. Not pretty thoughts, but I just, I think we need to consider the fact that ultimately it's thinking differently than the group. It's thinking differently than the masses that causes people like Warren Buffett to become crazy rich. Now, I don't know much about him, but I watched, I watched a documentary and a lot of this guy, I mean, he's a massive introvert. He's happy as hell to just spend the day reading and looking and thinking and making his decisions. And I was like, wow, you know what? I'm kind of like that. So ultimately, we have to find <clears throat> what works for us kind of neurologically, as well as financially, as well as emotionally, as well as in every way. And not everything's a fit, but the only way we're going to learn that this is for me, really, the only way I'm going to learn is by doing. I'm a kinesthetic learner. I have to, if I hear about an idea, I have to explore it. I have to try it. And that has led to many good things. And for many of us, it has also led to losing our money in some of these crazy schemes. Now, uh, control finance, they seem to be the real deal. They have real charts and stuff. Could they be a scam? They might be just be a really a much better one. What about what about the stock market? You know, could it be a scam? Could it all go down? There's rumors of October. Watch October, right? October seems to be the month when stock markets like to crash, right? Why is that? Because how many people believe, <laughs> millions of people believe that October is when the stock market crashes, right? The human mind people is the most powerful force on the planet. It's not always a force for good. And so I just wanted to, th I, sorry this is not funny, but I think it's important to really reflect. I didn't make a, a regular crypto cranking guide yesterday. Uh, I did make one that I haven't, uh, I haven't edited yet, but um, I just wanted to, while my computer was booting up, I wanted to think some thoughts and share them with you on camera. And the other day I came up with a couple of rules for the crypto cranking world, which I, at this point they seem silly. Okay, but I'll share them with you anyway. Buy low, sell higher. Right, that's the ultimate rule. Get in early, get out early with your profits, right? Uh, better to leave money on the table than lose everything by holding on too long, right? Because the market goes up and sometimes it comes down. Right now, uh, Bitcoin's having a little bit of a retracement. Uh, it may go to 5,000, probably will, but not today. <laughs> uh, taking less more often. So taking your profits a little bit more often, and this is this goes for trading, this goes for everything, you know. Uh, make sure you get a little, right? Get a little, get a little, go in and get a little. Take a little out of the market, take a little out of the market, right? Um, you can keep your main position, but take a little, take a little profit, right? So you, so you're giving yourself that positive reinforcement, right? And you got to keep track. I didn't write this down. I should write this down. Six. Keep track of your progress, of your score. It's a game. Score. Keep score, right? I don't know why that makes it fun, but it is. Don't be a sheep. That's the deal. It's like if, if there's someone like me, or someone like Ryan Burkness, some of these other folks, um, Trevon James, uh, people that have actually been kind of leading people towards these different programs. Um, make up your own mind. See what they're doing. There may be something better for you, right? Don't just follow along with the group because I think part of the problem is Ryan Burkness brought so many people into a program that the people running the program are like, oh my God, what if these people all want their money at the same time? And this guy, Ryan, says, okay, I'm out. And then everybody pulls out. Do you see? 
the leader then becomes kind of dangerous to the bubble. Someone's going to pop the bubble. These are all bubbles, right? Um, so anyway, those are my thoughts on the Crypto Cranking Guide to the Galaxy of Greed. It is day 23 of the Hypnosis of Money. My name is Mark Shepard. I'm a student of the human mind. And my, my intention is to find out how I'm wired so I can do what I want to do in life faster, easier, and better. And uh, have more fun doing it and make a positive difference in the world. And then ultimately, my ultimate purpose is to raise money so I can really promote and uh, market my music uh, the way I want to. I want to be the record company. Um, I want to I want to share my music with the world in a way that makes a positive difference. And for me, I'm looking around for how can I do it differently? How can I do it better? I don't want to go hang out with a bunch of singer songwriters, right? I want to go where there's no music and people are hungry for music, right? It's the same exact thing. Where are people hungry for what you have to offer? And where will they give you the time of day to listen? And how can you serve those people? How can you create a win-win so that everybody gets something out of it? Is that possible or is that just is that just uh, pie in the sky stuff? I don't know. Those are my thoughts as I wake up today. I'm going to go have my coffee and do the morning cryptos. Peace out. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please share it. Please take the time. Your financial life is really important. Take the time to learn about it. Take the time to experiment. Take the time to try things in a way that's safe for you, right? If you have to put 100 bucks on a cryptocurrency to really pay attention to it, then do so, right? Whatever you do is your decision. Whatever I've done has been my decision. And I am absolutely grateful for this experience. And uh, we'll see where it goes from here. That's it for now. Talk to you in the next one. Mark Shepard, over and out. Start the music, please.